my husband and Major Nelson, well, they left over half an hour ago. Oh, my word. I told the Admiral it was tomorrow. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for calling. General? General? Well, isn't that interesting? The General thought the meeting was tomorrow night. Oh, well, was it not lucky that you phoned him? <laughs> yes, it may have been very lucky that I phoned him. Uh, didn't you say that they were going to give Tony a bachelor party? Oh, yes, but my master... Uh, Anthony called it off. I don't care what you say, Lieutenant. The meeting is tonight. Now, you get on the phone, call the Admiral, Undersecretary Spencer and the rest of them. Tell them to meet me at the security gate. What? Of course I didn't make the mistake. You made the mistake. And you tell him that. I knew it. I knew it. Alfred's cigars are gone. Those, those sneaky men are going to have that bachelor party at the base tonight. Oh, but the bachelor party was called off. Anthony told me. I know what Anthony told you. It's the same thing that Alfred told me. Oh, but listen, before you get married, there's something you better learn about men. Oh, what is that? They're liars. All of them, poor dears, they just can't help it. It's in their natures. Oh, well, my Anthony would never lie to me. Oh, my dear, if you really believe that, you're not ready for marriage. <laughs> I am going to take you to NASA and open your eyes. Oh, well, I, I do not think so, Mrs. Bellows. You go if you must, but uh, I, I believe I will just go to the movies. It's <laughs> the whole trouble with marriage in America today. There's too much trust. <laughs> Now, Herman, the top-secret personnel are inside. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Major Healy? Uh, Roger, I see you got stuck with this meeting, too. Uh, yeah, stuck with the meeting. <laughs> Herman, are you wearing perfume? I beg your pardon, sir. <laughs> Never mind. Happy, <laughs> Major. Oh, well, uh, uh, Major Nelson, would you kindly take this mannequin out of the way? It must have been left over from another conference. Yes. Oh, well, uh, Major, I, uh, I've got the poker chips and the cigars. This is going to be quite a surprise. Surprise. Oh, uh, Major, why are those officers wearing those coats? Uh, maybe I'd better turn off the air conditioning. Well, they'll warm up as soon as the party gets started. <laughs> uh, boy, you sure make these dummies lifelike. Jeannie? Hello, Master. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm sorry, Master. I'm so ashamed. You see, Amanda Bellows said that you lied to me about your bachelor party and that you were going to have one. Well, uh, come on, Jeannie. Get out of here. The, the meeting's about to be starting. I know, Master, and that is why I'm so ashamed. You see, Mrs. Bellows is on her way over here to catch you and Dr. Bellows, but I said that I trusted you. And then I... <laughs> I'd come see for myself. Well, now you've seen. Go home. Go on, go on. Oh, yes, Master. Instantly. Yeah. Can you ever forgive me? Yes, I forgive you. I forgive you. Kiss me to show me you forgive me. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Um... Major Delson? Yes, I suppose you're wondering why I was kissing the mannequin, sir. Uh, kissing the mannequin? Uh, no, 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 I wasn't wondering that at all. You weren't wondering why I was kissing the man? Uh, no, I, um, I'm just here to tell you that we're ready to begin. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow.